I'm spending me on half with a chili, tell the guy just a minute. Got my dog in the sip of bed, all to a pillow. All for the healing, call it raw when you sip it. Yo, boy, so in today's new Fortnite update, Fortnite actually added reset on release for controller or how I like to call it, score or reset on controller. And I just wanted to say that score reset on controller is absolutely amazing now. I, I've already switched to controller literally as of today. I've switched to controller. And I'm about to tell you why you should switch to controller and how this new reset and release thing works. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first you wanna go to your settings go, and then go on the game tab and then click reset. So if you, I use double edit binds, which I really recommend for all controller players. All the pros use it. It makes you faster editing, more efficient. So I recommend you using that. So I don't use edit on release. I use the edit binds and I wanna use the score on re score reset thing. So I would use reset. Edit just means edit on release, and both is both edit on release and re score reset. For this example, I'm going to click none. So before, when I had to reset, I would have to click my editing bind, reset, and R1. Right? Let's say, for example, that I was boxing somebody up, right? Let's say I'm over here. Take action the wall, right? I take the wall, right? I edit. They run to the left, and I go boom, boom, boom. Full box, right? They're right there. I, I would shoot, and then by the time I have to click my edit, reset, and confirm, they would have already shot me. So I would have like shot. It just takes too long to reset. You see? So, so with score reset off, it takes a long time for me to reset all these because I have to edit, reset, and then confirm. So this is how long it would take normally for me. So, but if you have this setting turned on, so now I have score reset on. If I have it turned on, look how easy it is. All I have to do is press confirm and then reset. Confirm and then reset. Confirm, reset, confirm, reset. So look how fast it is. Look at that. I literally look like a keyboard mouse player now with score reset. Look at this. Everything's just so easy now. We'll make a right hand peek. Full box, edit right here. Boom, like this. Let me tell you why you should switch the controller now. There's no point really to switch the keyboard now because you'll have way better movement on controller than you will ever have on keyboard. There's no possible way to get as good control movement on keyboard. There's literally no way. So you're going to have way better movement on controller. Plus you have aim assist, which helps a lot. Plus if you start doing aim trainers, plus aim assist, that's like a whole built-in zen. And in my opinion, it's a lot easier to build and piece control on controller than it is on keyboard. I don't know. A lot of people have mixed... Uh, Opinions, mixed preferences. But in my opinion, it's way easier to do basically everything on a controller. It's a lot more simpler. That's basically what we all started on gaming. And now you have score world reset on controller. Like, what else do you want? You have aim assist. You have, you can build a piece control better. You have better movement. Reset on release. There's probably a bunch of other things that I'm missing out. But like, it's just insane now that we have uh, score world uh, reset on controller. So like. I've officially now switched to controller, and also let me know down below uh, if this video helped you uh, learn about this uh, score reset. Also, it would really help me out if you hit the subscribe button and like this video if you enjoyed. Other than that, it's been Jared, and I'm out. Peace. Came on at a show, and now it's been a minute. Come on, hop for the chili, tell the guy just a minute. Got my dog in the system.